is happening guys it's your boy tc back with another video so this is a special edition uh a cup final edition if you want to call it that I'm meeting up with ralph and alex for the cup final today uh but yeah these might be uh, familiar faces to some of you guys that watch my my friends alex's and ralph's channel cannon fodder so if you are watching on i am going to talk Alex and Ralph, if you're watching on Canon for that, I certainly will be a familiar face. So the purpose of this video today uh, will be in regards to players that we would actually want to get rid of uh, in the summer at Arsenal. Uh, it certainly may be a long list. This may turn out to be an extremely long video, but um, we'll try and make it nice and short and snappy for you guys. So um, I'll kick it off with Alex here and um, your thoughts in terms of uh, the current squad, um, just to begin this video. I think, like you said in the offset, we need to get shot of a lot of these players. Mm. And uh, we've known for the best part of the season that a lot of the players are not Unai Emery's, um, uh, well, these players. So um, I'm going to throw one name out. For me, it's an obvious name. Get rid of Mustafi. <laughs> a 35 minute flop. He proves to play the Premiership <laughs> at Everton. Then he went away, and lo and behold, he's come back in the Premiership. I mean, whoever negotiated that £35 million deal there was need to be shot. <laughs> of course. <laughs> no. I'm going to throw Mustafi's name out there. I'm not so, sure you know, what you guys think. I want not mind having Mustafi's agent because if you can get him £35 million, <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing. <laughs> on, yeah, you're he's, laughing. He's done, he's, done, he's done a good job, really. So we, we got suckered. Um, for me, um, there is a few. But um, I'd say Mkhitaryan mm. because um, he just... Flatters to to deceive. He's mm. uh, I, I, I don't know. Again, who is it that allows uh, when, it, when it's an agent to say actually this guy you know he's, he's good. He's gonna he's gonna do all. He's got everything's on the tin. He's gonna do everything, and he just flashes brilliance and then disappears for the rest of the season. It seems. But TC, so, wasn't he brought in to try and have that old partnership with um, Aubameyang? Do you know what? I, 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 romantic yeah, point of it. Yeah, the romantic side of it, if, yeah. if you want to look at it that way. Yeah. Um, but I, be, I believe at that point as well, um, when Mkhitaryan did come in, uh, we were extremely desperate in terms of, one, wanting to get rid of Alexis Sanchez and not yeah. lose him on a free. Mm. And two, to try and sort of rejuvenate the team in terms of um, sort of bringing in some fresh blood. Mm. Things were extremely stale at that point, if you do yeah. remember. Um, obviously, we had just bought in, was it the same window Bamian came in? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. It was. So, it was. Uh, it, on paper at the time, it looked like a fantastic window. Mm. Probably still is, due to the fact that Aubameyang has done fantastically well for us. Yeah. Um, but with the Mkhitaryan situation, I believe it also done down to desperation, uh, yeah. in a sense yeah. of we wanted to bring in some players. The, the actual atmosphere and the environment within the club, uh, from a distance, if you're observing, uh, mm. I'm not a match goal or anything of that sort, but um, if you're looking from the outside in, it looked absolutely toxic. Yeah. Uh, at that time yeah. so I think that would have played a part as well so we've got Mkhitaryan as well as Mustafi so far um, just to add on to the, uh, the Mustafi point um, I, I was one of those people that used to champion Mustafi and was hoping he'll become good uh, I was just hoping that he'll become good because when we got him he was what 24 yeah. just turned 24 mm. um, wasn't mature yet at that particular point but now um, I see. I see what people uh, have been saying for a while now. But TC, uh, he's a World Cup winner. Yeah. Certainly, but how many minutes? Oh, yeah. Were yeah. played. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. that's, that's you, you, you could be in the squad, be a World Cup winner, but don't have any real influence. Mm. Zero. So zero. You look at the the French squad that won the World Cup this this year, mm. or sorry, last year. Um, some of them didn't play a single minute. Mm. Yeah. In that whole World Cup, in that in okay. that tournament, yeah. yeah. So on paper, yes, you're World Cup winner, but how much influence mm -hmm. did you did you sort of provide during that whole tournament? So yeah, that that was that, initially. I used to think, yes, Mustafi, he will become good. Give him some time. Give him some time. That but happen, these wonderful compilations on YouTube now of Mustafi's mistakes and errors, oh. uh, they're brilliant to Actually, watch. There was <laughs> a, a training um, session where he scored some kind of like. Won the goal. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yes! Uh, and I was thinking, 
someone's put the head of Mustafi on, on, on somebody <laughs> else because the goal, it was a good goal, but when is he going to do that? He's never going to get a chance right. to do that. You know what I mean? Right. So um, I, I posted a reply underneath that video saying 20 plus goals incoming next season. <laughs> so... Uh, but it's sort of uh, tr- trying to move on, but I, I, I can't see any suitors for Mustafi unless, obviously, in the continent somewhere, someone might take a gamble on him. And you're talking of high wages. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know how much he's on. Anyone has an idea? Or? No, I have no idea. The, the, the prices or the, the, the values seem to go up and down no matter which kind of media outlet you tend to hear from. So mm. I, and I, I did say to Alex um, earlier that I don't have any faith in what um, Kronk is going to give at the moment in time. I think he's just wants to try and balance the box and we'll try and get rid of these high paid... High players, earners, yeah. As high earners. And then maybe at some point he might start thinking, well, actually, we do need a central defender. We may need some wingers. When that's going to happen, how long is a piece of string? Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah, we could be waiting forever. Yeah. But it's, it's a point that I've made previously as well on cannon fodder, which uh, was... If you run a profitable business, mm-hmm. are you going to change anything? I won't. Personally, I wouldn't. Yeah. If I'm yeah. getting profits year after year after year, mm. um, why would I change? But I also mentioned on uh, the Easy Talk that imagine, you know, if Emery does win, or we hope that he's going to win the um, Europa League Cup final tonight, and he goes to Kroenke and he, he says to Kroenke, This is what I can do. I need more Only- money. Yeah, and Kronk is going to say, well, hang on, "But hang on, mate, you've just missed out on top four. Hmm. You've won the Europa League with these players. You don't need more money." And like you said, it's like a business where, with the, the minimum of resources, you're trying to maximise. Yeah, out of those, yeah, yeah. And it it doesn't work. Yes, if you're looking no. at a business, it's like um, giving an example as such. If you've got someone in your IT department, for example, mm. they've been there for twenty, thirty odd years. Um, Yes, things are ticking over slightly, uh, but if you get a fresher, younger guy in, you're going to get better results. Yeah. 